Welcome to Mind and Body with Emily Bright, where we will discuss everything fitness and health to help encourage and support you through your transition into a healthier lifestyle in a way that's really fun and more importantly, sustainable. So in today's episode, I wanted to discuss nutrition and how to incorporate meal prepping in your life that's really easy and that will help keeping your diet healthy, much less stressful. So we all know the importance of eating a balanced diet, but we don't always follow it. Well, why? Because there's so much information out there that maybe we get confused or we get overwhelmed or even frustrated on exactly where to begin. What's our first step? So what I'd like to do today is to provide some easy transitioning uh, tips for you to start living a healthier lifestyle um, and for you and possibly your family or loved ones right now. So there are many different reasons why it can sometimes be a challenge to stay on track. So with so many more unhealthy and convenient options available, it's pretty hard to say no when life gets busy And maybe cooking a home-cooked meal seems just like another chore um, that you don't have time for. So some of us think it's like all or nothing to be healthy, that we have to be buying all organic, every meal has to be perfect, we can't add any salt. Um, And that kind of mindset can really deter someone from wanting to eat healthy. So by shifting this mindset of the all or nothing principle to knowing that any small changes that we can make um, are going to overall improve our health. And that's a really good feeling. So I never encourage a client or, or anyone to cut everything out of their diet immediately to lose weight or to better their health. It's This is just, again, going to lead to people restricting and then binging. And it's just not a sustainable lifestyle for anybody. So instead, try starting with small incremental changes. And these are a lot different um, in ways that you can do those so you can improve your health today um, in ways that take minimal effort. So I'm going to talk about several different solutions, but just pick one or two to start with. So for example, instead of eating prepackaged or fast food meals, pick one or one day a week to meal prep a bunch of meals and the snacks that are quick and easy to grab when you're in a hurry. Uh, I'm going to talk more on this later. It's the main topic for today. Number two, don't skip meals. So really try to create a routine for yourself for what times you will eat a meal or a snack. Uh, Your body really loves to stay on that kind of schedule um, and will feel best when it knows when it will receive healthy, energizing foods. So you really want to think of your metabolism as a fire. You want to throw wood on it every so often to keep the fuel burning. Our metabolism is the same way. It really thrives Um, on small, consistent meals every few hours rather than a few big meals throughout the day. Um, Number three is eating small meals and snacks more often. So again, to stay fueled throughout the day, um, just have little snacks in between meals. Number four, skip the sugary and dense caloric drinks. So, you know, the Starbucks, the the, um, sugary caffeinated drinks, um, all of those types of things, juices even, or smoothies that you purchase from fast food chains that generally have a lot of sweetener um, and additives to them. Trying to avoid those and look, taking a look at the beverages that you're consuming is huge. Number five, try to incorporate more protein. So at every meal, 15 to 20 grams of protein is ideal. And you can get that from things like almonds, eggs, poultry, so uh, your chicken, your turkey. Uh, If you're vegetarian, maybe you want want to opt for tempeh, tofu, protein shakes are a great option, fish, beans. There's so many things, and it doesn't always have to be meat. But trying to incorporate some source of protein at every meal will not only help keep you fuller longer, um, but give you sustained energy. So the next one is to snack smarter. So instead of the chips before bed, when you get that late night um, craving, try popping some popcorn instead on the stove with a little olive oil, a little sea salt and pepper. It's only about 100 calories per three cups. 
Um, whereas we all know that with chips, it's a very small portion and the calories add up really fast. So in no, no means am I saying by you have to always cut out snacks before bed because we all get those cravings once in a while. It's just about snacking smarter and picking options that are a little healthier. And if you're not a popcorn person, you could try Greek yogurt, um, almonds, hummus with carrot sticks. So things that are higher in protein but a little bit lower in calories are generally the way to go. Uh, the next one, and one of the most important ones actually, is to hydrate. So you hear this so often, but you should really be aiming to drink about half your body weight in ounces. So for example, a 140 pound person would want about 70 ounces of water throughout the day. And this can seem like a lot, so start slow. You don't have to start with that number right away. Even starting off your morning with a glass of water before uh, your coffee, um, just to hydrate yourself, awake your body up in a glass afterwards is a great start to your day. Um, even 20 minutes before every meal is ideal. It's also going to help improve your digestion, uh, your, your metabolism. So bring a reusable water bottle wherever you go and you'll be <clears throat> and you'll stay hydrated. So those are seven different ways to begin eating a more balanced diet. And again, choose one or two to start with for the first few weeks and go from there. Don't do all of them at once. That's going to be way too overwhelming. But if you wanted to choose one that would benefit you the most in the long term, I would highly suggest you begin with meal prepping. So not only is it a great money saver, but a really easy way to stay on track when you have everything prepared for you at home. So this is not only going to make it easier to choose a well-balanced diet, um, when you know it's already available at home, but it's going to make those, those um, fast food choices a lot less tempting. Uh, this is also going to help prevent food waste because we all know those vegetables you find in the back of your fridge um, that have grown their own ecosystem and we have to throw them out. And there's always that pitiful that sense of guilt and shame when you find those rotten vegetables or, or food that's gone bad in your fridge. You know, you should have done something with it. Well, this is going to help prevent that. So by really meal prepping, this is going to help prevent all of that. Okay. So the first step into meal prepping is really to pick out a day of the week where you will set aside a few hours to meal prep. So perhaps you purchase groceries every Sunday morning. So as soon as you get home would be the ideal time to meal prep as you already have everything out. Or maybe there's a different day. Choose whatever day works best for you when you know you can every day of that week, you can set aside that time. So then you'll want to ask yourself some questions to make this suit your lifestyle best. So what kind of questions? Well, what are some foods that maybe you or your family enjoys? Maybe that's rice, chicken, vegetables, fruits. Um, kind of gather that information and then you can kind of go from there what meals you want. Then next, what, are, what meals are hardest for you to prepare during the day? So those are the meals that should be on the top of your list to make. If dinner is the hardest meal for you to make, whether it be time-wise or motivation-wise, plan out some meals you can make in advance for dinners for the week. And that's going to take a lot of strain and stress off of you. Next, write out the meals that you'll make for the week. So my personal go-tos are soups, chilies, spaghetti squash, stuffed bell peppers, um, things like that that are pretty easy to meal prep, really good, and store well in the fridge. But if you're in need of some different types of recipes or inspiration, Pinterest has a ton of amazing ones. Then what you're going to want to do is create a shopping list. So really try to only put the ingredients and food you really need for these recipes and try to stay within the perimeter of the grocery store once you're there. Because the middle aisles are actually where most of the processed and packaged foods are. So try to avoid those aisles um, as much as possible. So when you get home, I'm going to give you a little example of what I do when I get home from the grocery store to meal prep best. So I immediately season all of my poultry, like my ground chicken, my chicken breasts, turkey, and I place it all in the oven to bake. And while that's baking, I have a few pots uh, ready to go on the stove. So I hard boil a bunch of eggs um, and then I 
cooked quinoa. I have rice baking. So I have this all ready for, again, the eggs are for easy, quick protein. For breakfast, you can add it to salads, snacks with veggies. The rice, you can add it to, of course, any meal you like with various different recipes. And then the quinoa, the same thing. So while everything is baking, boiling, I chop up all my vegetables for quick and easy access throughout the week. So this not only saves on prep, prep work, uh, but it also saves on dishes. So it's kind of a win-win because I hate dishes. Um, and then I use all of those chopped veggies as well. Um, I grab a handful of them and throw it into a large pot with some beans, some sodium-free chicken broth. And this makes a huge batch of soup that I can use all week long for when I'm not really feeling a heavy meal um, or in, in need of something pretty quick. And that's a really easy thing. You can just heat up really fast. So while all of that's cooking on the stove and in the oven, if I'm feeling up to it, I'll try to prepare some other easy to go snacks such as protein muffins or I'll make hummus, um, chocolate granola, so many other types of things that you can make. Be as creative as you like. Make it, make it fun. Uh, switch it up every week so it doesn't get too mundane or boring. But again, revert back to Pinterest if you need to for some extra inspiration. And then once your poultry and rice are done, you can easily create so many different recipes to store in large containers in the fridge to use throughout the week. Um, and that makes it so much easier. So by having all this food prepared, it's really easy to throw together quick breakfasts, lunches, or dinners on the go. Maybe for those of you who have really busy schedules, maybe your, your parents um, work night shifts. So these are really easy to have on the go. You can even pre-portion them out into smaller containers to make it even more convenient when you're in a hurry um, and to prevent overeating as well. So through trial and error, you're really going to find what process works best for you. So maybe you live with a partner or loved ones or your family. Have them join in and make it as fun as you can. And it's just going to help make it seem less like a chore. Maybe you want to play some dance music. Uh, watch a movie on a tablet or laptop while you're working away in the kitchen. Listen to a podcast. Call a friend on the phone. Catch up. Whatever you can do while doing the meal prepping that can make it fun for you um, is going to make you want to do it every week and look forward to it, not so much like a chore. Or for, for some, maybe this is perfect quality time to spend alone. Maybe this is the only few hours you really get to yourself throughout the week. So this can be very therapeutic for you. So make it something you look forward to and make it suit your lifestyle best so that you can start saving money and start living better. So I hope these tips are helpful for you and that you enjoyed listening. So thank you so, so much. And feel free to follow my Facebook page, Emily Bright Fitness and Health Coaching, where I will be posting a PDF of this meal prepping guide for you to use. And until next time, stay fit, stay healthy, and stay happy.